everybody and welcome to career and trainings right here on afia tv S TV channel 254 and go tv channel 17. career and trainings is where we bring you information that helps young people decide on their employability and of course career skills we help them get better we also bring in experts who are professionals and are very good in their various skills to showcase their skills and what it takes to be excelling, to excel and stand out in that particular skill. I am a former Ajumobi Ifi Melody and we also do this every Tuesday, 3.30 p.m. right here from the beautiful city of Enugu, Nigeria. Stay tuned. On today's show, we'll be having the outstanding graphics designer, Divine Wonye, who is also a brand manager. And he's a man of many faces, but today we will be talking about understanding graphics designing. Hi, Divine. Welcome to the show. Good to have you here. Thank you for having me. I can't wait to start exploring <laughs> and, you know, finding out how you do the magic you do <laughs> with graphics and, you know, colors, with yeah. Corel Draw. Um, you keep mesmerizing yes, us. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank so you for having me. So we'll find that out today. But just before we go ahead to, you know, ask you about what it takes to be a good graphic designer, we will take this career tip. We'll have a career tip right now. So our career tip says set goals to achieve. Set goals to achieve. All right. What do you think about that tip? Well, the truth is, if we don't, if you don't have any goal, you might probably not be moving in a certain direction. But what goals actually does it is set you focus, set you on a direction, and set you on a path. You know, because you know, one thing people don't really understand is that someone wakes up in the morning and okay, he doesn't even have a plan and he's some on people the are like that. Right? Yes, some people are like that. They are on the get go. Uh, probably we the some people that has this idea is that oh 2023 is coming whatever we see we take and obviously you will get whatever you see you understand so but when you set goals and set plans and set um timelines for these goals right you end up seeing that you make results you know you achieve something at the end of the day but if you don't set goals you are set for doom <laughs> i think that's just the thing <laughs> all right it's quite important to set goals i yes. mean goals really do help you check milestones and you know how far you've come and it helps you also attain more when you don't set goals you probably won't achieve a whole lot unlike when you set goals they really guide and help you thank you for that insight now let me start by asking you how did you get into this career graphic designing and how long have you been in it well it's been quite a while now because but one of the things i when i was in primary school one of the questions i've been i was asking myself was that what would i be when i grew up you know what do i want to be but one of the things i had in mind then was to be a pastor uh, probably because my dad was oh so i <laughs> so but you know this idea growing up and you had people who had things they wanted to be so i had to you know i was trying to factor in something okay i need to be something i need to be something when i grow aside from the fact that i'm going to be a, i want to be a pastor and so so i said thinking of because of the law for act when i entered jss class i noticed that this fine there's this this subject called fine and apply art i fell in love with it after a subject you know how you can actually transfer you know into a board and then you've done a print so what i wanted to be there was just those graphic artists that paint that that do billboard those olden time billboard not the ones we do now we print and then we put on the billboard that was what i wanted to be to be able to, you know, trim stencils and then transfer ink on them and then onto a surface before you know it, you have a print. So, but growing up, I just realized that, oh, direction started changing, you know, I said, okay, this is what I wanted to be. But after my NYC, I noticed what that... What did you start in school, by the I way? read linguistics. Oh, actually, you let, from the when, how, yeah. how did you end up there? <laughs> from having a passion for, for art. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think my passion actually changed okay. all of a sudden. I okay. wanted to be a journalist at the, you know, wow. at one time because I was saying, okay, fine, if I want to be a pastor, let me convert it. I should be, because I was listening should to... Should be good with communication. Uh, Post TFM, yes, okay. Post TFM one time. I realized that inside the bus I was, a lot of people were listening to radio, so I was like, oh, if I get on radio, 
radio, I'll have plenty of people listening to me, or like having to be in church and then people listening to you on the pulpit. So I said, okay, let me pursue that. That was why I applied for MassCom. But, you know, lucky for me, uh, luck was not on my side. I didn't get MassCom. You know, I found myself in linguistics. Okay. You know, so I kept you know, doing my own journalist thing. But after my final year, I just noticed that I started developing law for graphic design. If you get on my phone, during my service here, I had a lot of screenshots of graphics. I just stay appraising designs, you know, all of a sudden, you know, I'll just screenshot this design and say, okay, let me replicate it. Let me do exactly this. I think there's something this person needs to do. So that love started growing, growing. All of a sudden, I felt like, oh, man, I think I like design. I like graphic design. So I said, I, I got a system, you know, you know, in start career drawing it, asked someone to teach me, the person named the very big prize. I said, well, I can't do this. <laughs> I just one day, because I already have a system. So you said self-learning. Yeah, I career draw. I just opened the system and said, messing around with the wow. software. Wow. So touching things and then, you know, and they are just, I just noticed changes around the, 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 the object and the things I was working on. So from there, I said, well, I think this is it for me. So, and then I, I just realized that, you know, the fact that graphic design has power, visuals have power in themselves because they can, they can change behavior. So I say, for well, the fact that, okay, these visuals can convert, right? They can change behavior. They can change attitudes. They can, can communicate. can communicate. Yeah. yeah it's actually a tool of communication. Right, yeah, it's yeah. Really, yeah. So I said, well, that, like, as in, it's, it's, it's visual for me. So that was how I found myself doing designs. And mm. then the love has kept growing and growing, you know. And you've been getting better yes, and yes, better. Yes, yes, by the day, yes. There are plenty of questions coming up. But I think one of the major ones I want to ask is, is it rewarding? Would yeah. you say it's rewarding? Yeah, How yeah. well rewarding? No, see, the truth is, you know, one of the things people basically don't understand is that, you know, especially for graphic designers like me, you know, some of them think that graphic design, oh, it's just there, you know, it's something you just do for the... But people make six figures from graphic design. I, for one, actually do, right? So people make six figures. Some people make lesser than that, you understand? But you can actually make that for yourself. So what does it take to get to that stage or be able to, you know, pull in such amounts from, it, it, from it's, the art? It's from the place of practical improvement. I'll, I'll, I'll use myself for an example. I actually picture... Uh, for, uh, two years ago, I pictured the kind of graphic designer that I wanted to be, right? So from that picture, I already know that for me to be there, I have to follow brands that actually take, that are like what I wanted to be. If I want to design for this brand, this is the kind of brand I want to design for. So I paint a picture for myself. I follow pages. Instagram is instrumental to what I do. I follow the pages. I watch the designs they put out. I watch the alignment, I watch the balance, I watch the colors, I watch the typeface, the way they use Simplicity, images. But yes, yeah, very Simplicity. powerful yeah. and beautiful. You know, one of the things we, we, we do, we, it, graphic design actually does, it's, graphic design has a way of telling a story, right? Depending on how you, you know, come about it. So I just looked at it, the storytelling around the branding that those brands I wanted to work for, you know. So, so I pursued, I went that direction. So for a fact, graphic designer, the designing is rewarding. Okay. You know, it's rewarding. But you have to actually paint a picture for yourself. You have to keep in focus. Like, like we said earlier, you have to set a goal for yourself. This is the kind of graphic designer I want to be. Right? When you set that focus, it will, also, it will reflect on your own design. And also you help people also understand the value what you're giving to them is, you know, the, the worth of the value, what you're giving to them, such that when people try to price you, you know how to price yourself, right? You know how to, you know, pursue, you know present your worth before people, and not people, you know, devaluing you. You have to understand your worth yes, and yes, the you, value you're bringing to you, the you're table. Bringing to the table. So what exactly. are the basics for graphic designing? So very important, they're, they're, uh, certainly the uh, graphic design of a fact, you know, uh, the, the, one of the uh, basic things a graphic designer should get hold of is a communication. You have to have communication skills, you know, because at the end of the day, you are solving a problem. Let me give you an instance. There are sometimes people send me design brief, and at the end of the day, we end up deciding. I end up deciding for them what this thing should be. Why? Because 
you're not a designer just to make just put the graphics the the, the copies they wrote for you and put them on design no just no no give it to you, them you have that to way, actually okay? have a discussion so sometimes i have discussion with clients you know say okay so this is how you should present this we're trying to make a sale we're trying to convert you understand we've we've, I've, 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 we've had design i've had design make make good numbers in terms of profit for the brand that's why i said on the price of also pricing you also understand that what you are making for them can actually make them millions of naira right so uh, there, there's a place of communication you have to understand you know the place of feedback how to communicate with your client the second thing you have to understand also that you also a problem solver you're trying to bring a solution to the table a business owner comes to you and say okay fine i'm starting out a business a small business of making peanuts how do you help me Right. So the first thing you have to understand is that, OK, you have to how do you use design solve this problem? The first of all, you think of visuals. How do you how, how, how in terms of logo design coming up with, you know, brand identity for that brand that he's coming to the table with? First of all, coming with colors, the typeface that work for that kind of brand. Right. And again, trying to okay, understand that if you use this product, where will you, where your labeling and all the design for your labeling, how do you promote this product? You are coming up with a solution. So you, a designer must have, you know, uh, 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 must have that, these skills. Okay. And another thing is you must be full of curiosity. Curiosity. Just ask questions. Curiosity is a, is, a, is, a, is, is a point that a designer must have. All also, right. Okay. Yeah, you, you also, the passion and the drive also, very key. Uh, they are very important. What I about manage. the artistic and creative yeah. part? You can... Creativity is, is part of it because design is all about imagination. Is that something that can be learned or it has to be innate? Yeah, it is. And at the end of the day, you have to learn it because let me give you an instant. Most times when people come to learn design, ask me to teach them design, I tell them the simple thing is you have to go, go out there, see design, pick them up. If you have your way around the software, fine. Replicate those designs. When you constantly do so, you just realize that you can be able to create without looking at any template already. All right. So, so it's, 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 it's there. Creativity is one of the... That's you know, quite the interesting. Um, this is telling us what it takes to be a good designer. Right. Yes. Now, what are the basics? When I say basics are spare, if you don't have this, you can't design. Um, that's going to the practical aspect now. Uh, man, seriously, one of the important, especially if you want to be a designer, right, is that you, you have to have a good laptop, okay. a good system, because, you know, at least from 8 gig RAM up, right, you have to have a good system, right, because one of the things people don't know is that when you get lower designs, uh, th there's something I, I understood within a few times. I realized that the level of output I gave was determinant on the software, on the, on the device I use when okay. I change device. Okay. Because so I certain devices uh, uh, to certain give devices you better output that, that, yes, with, and quality. Yeah, and quality. Because I realized that what I was getting from this particular you know, device was, at the end of the day, you are getting, you, you'll be slowed down because the, 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 the RAM of the system that I was using then was very low. So... You want to rush up designs. You don't want to add extra things because you feel that, oh, let's, let me do this thing and submit because time is really against you. The, uh, the laptop is slowing you down and every other thing. So I just realized that when you have a good system, you can experiment more, right? Your system will not lag and you'll be able to deliver on time. So a good laptop is very, very important. And then when you are coming to, you know, learn design, come with your head. <laughs> <laughs> and then software is, of course, Yes, yes, too. yes, you can. The, the thing is that, um, like I used to tell people, uh, design is not really about the software one use. Oh, really? It's about the head you come to oh, the software with. Oh, all right. Right, because someone, I've seen someone who uses Canva to make design. Okay. And they come out clean. Really good. With their phone, right? Taking this. Design, yes. is, design <laughs> is not about the software you yes. use, but the head. Head that is doing that design, that design the head design. you're coming with. Yes. All right, that's quite interesting. Yeah. Let me ask this question What's the most challenging part of being a graphics designer? Uh, well, all designers have faced their own challenges, peculiar challenges you know, you know, differently. But then, one of the important things is that when you face those challenges, find a creative solution around it. Anyone common to all designers? Now, one of them is working on tight schedule. Uh, when you just have this client wakes up and say, okay, I need this design in the next few minutes. Probably because you churn out designs fast and the person think, oh, I can just wake up and just demand for, you know, for design. So working on tight schedule 
is very difficult, you know. It's, 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 it's one of the challenges designers face. And at the end of the day, you see people blaming design. Oh, he gave this, submit the design very late and all. So How do you I, manage that then? You know, very, what I do is that once they come, I have to make the person understand that, okay, that's the place of communication. Let's see. I wouldn't guarantee you that this design is coming out this time. This is when it should come out, when, when you should expect it. But if I see that, if I looked at the design, if I look at the design and say, okay, oh, this design is coming out, so, so time. I'll sure give you the time. Most times I give you, you know, if I'm giving you, I'm giving you four hours gap to make sure that I have time to think about the design, you know, do some brainstorming and then do some, you know, routine assessment and then I'm out of the... All right, so quite interesting. Uh, so another thing again, sorry to add, is that one of the challenges is balancing your, pref your personal style and your client preferences. Okay. It's very important okay. because most times you have your own design. I think I have an idea line of that. Door. Yes, yes. And too. someone actually has his own design. So and some clients will stay put and say, and stay put. I want this is what it I this want. way. Yes. There's something I don't do. There's a design called, there's, there's this design people put on wall. I don't know if you've seen it. It's a funny kind of concept. I don't do it. You know, all these 3D. There's how people do it. I don't do it. And most times when clients come, I say no. Because I feel it's not a logo. But for them, when you put it on that way, it becomes a logo. But when it's not there, it's not a logo. So when we have that kind of, you know, challenge, I get to cut off. All right. Quite interesting. What has kept you going? What do you enjoy most? <laughs> I think that, that's one of the things, like, it's, 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 it's just it for me. The fact that I could communicate you know, to people, yeah, and people get to, you know, you know, understand in simple terms. And I think my client success is very important. So if a client, you know, goal is to achieve so, so, so thing, and this design that I did, I actually created, helps the person achieve so, so number of people. I've actually seen designs that I do send out, and then a good, it has a good turn up. You know, people turn up to Liking, events, commenting, yeah, okay, okay. No, I mean, physical events. Makes uh, uh, them come yes, for come physical for events. events. Oh. You know, 1,000 and over that. So I think that's when I look at that, I, I feel, you know, happy that, okay, so, so, so design makes this thing convert, right? And then it makes the client happy at the end of the day. So I think that, that's, that's some of the things. That's that. wonderful. That's wonderful. And we can go on and on and on. As always, I don't want to end the show, but we've got to go. But just before we go, of course, our book recommendation is coming your way. So our book recommendation is Personal Branding by Uju Obuekwe. And that's one interesting book that will change your mentality, give you an understanding on what personal branding is and why it is also very important. Uju Obuekwe is a marketing communications specialist and she also told her story and journey into personal branding on that book, how she didn't understand what it was before, but eventually when she did, it changed everything about her life, business, and career. It will do you well if you can find that book to read it. All right, back to our guest here in the studio, Divine Moye, manager. What would you say to...